Well, good morning, Interbed fans, and welcome to the Turfentine Standside meeting, Saturday, the 8th of August. Uh, 12.05, first race kickoff. It's a nine race program, 21 pentrometer and a 7.5 meter false rail, and we are on the Standside track. So let's kick off with the uh, first race, as I said, five past 12, 1600 meter, three year old fillies. I'm going to forgive Liverpool legend a last start. I thought that uh, her runs before that made her a very have a very good chance in a race like this. Eula Late, which is a stable companion, and Sherman, and uh, no one knows better than St. John Grey what's going on there, um, is the 11 to 10 favourite, and she has good, good form, this uh, daughter of Ideal World, and probably much better over the 1600 metres, so uh, she probably the top, top choice. Uh, last going west, I liked her... Um, last run I thought it wasn't bad and I think that she'll improve quite a lot because she's uh, definitely going the right type of trip the 1600 will suit her much better than the 1200 she's been going and then Sunset Beach look for improvement from this one with Sester for the Jim Paul match at stable number five on the card so one two five eleven looked like the first uh, race and I would box him in trifectas quartet swingers the whole lot Race two, maiden plate, um, Colton Geldings, they've got 1,600 metres, and uh, this is a little more open. Ten Sith liaison gets the blinkers and is a hot favourite, and if the blinkers make the difference, probably the right horse. Trump's Express, much improved last run, and uh, Paul Peter, Luke Ferraris in very, very good form, just should run well. Then Elusa Swan and Enrico Cicchetti, uh, both these have chances and certainly would go into all my play as well. And Summerdale also has some sort of chance um, for the minor placings. Race three, graduation played 1400 meters. And um, this is also not very easy in the second leg of the um, bipod. I thought that Swindon's Pride was the right horse. I, I was very impressed with the way she won. We liked her. She looked like the right horse. She was backed into even money favorite, and she's obviously got ability. Um, Cornet Spies has got two interesting runners here. Canali might be the better of the two with Straden, but it's certainly the bigger price um, and is the highest rated horse in the race, goes into everything. Red 10 won a very good race. Ashley Fortunes among a Kamala. And there was money for it. Shah Akbar won a good race and drifted, but um, definitely comes into this type of race with a chance. Then you have uh, the two maidens catch 22 euro cent, and even Ty Gold, who just won a maiden last time, but doesn't look like particularly strong form, comes into it. So very difficult at race three. Race four, merit rated 103, 1800. Well, it's amazing that they keep this race uh, alive. Uh, Paul Peter's got three of the five runners in it. Um, in the old days, it would never have happened. Western Fort, he looks like the right horse, but I think Master Supreme will beat him and holds him on the, um, their run in the Classic. And to, to me, that is the race I'm going to look at as the form guide. So Master Supreme for me uh, and should win it. Shogun, big danger. Low weight, might go to the front. I might end up staying there. Seventh of June gets blinkers, and then Finch Hatton has been um, a model of consistency since he's arrived at Gork and Terzi's yard. So, not that easy a race, um, and might well be worth just putting the field in. It's the first leg of the pick six, take a chance. A race five, Phillies and Mares, 74, 2,400 meters. Lucky Hulakos holds the key here. He's got little wood and pink, Pink's my preference. Craig Zaki rides at drawn 11. I think it's a very, very good each way chance. Remember, Craig Zaki won on it three runs ago and won extremely well. Um, so, and that was over the 2,400 meters. So she might have just um, uh, she might have just needed her last two starts, and her last run was not impressive. But I think that the wrong tactics were used. She went to the front and was certainly right up there, and she's better from off them. Uh, what are the others? Well, I made um, you know, five curvation at a runner, definitely got a chance, as has 13 ration my passion from the Gary Alexander stable with Luke Ferraris aboard. Have a close look at that one. Race six. Uh, this is the Pinnacle Stakes, 2,400 meters, four-cornered contest. American Indian, hot favorite and a very good win last time out. Can he hold it? 
hold that form together well secret potion to me is perfectly suited to the outside track 2400 meters everything's right about this filly and i would think that uh, american any would struggle to give her three and a half kilos so she's my top choice dromedaris might get to the front he's certainly a horse that always worth considering and goes into all my play and then um if you're looking for the roughies are Lord Silverio and the Bosbok, I think that they might be the two roughies in the race. Race seven, uh, graduation, three-year-old fillies, 1,400 meters. War of Athena's last run was fantastic. Really, really good run. Uh, she's come back to Joburg and obviously had a bit of time to get ready for a race like this, and she would be very hard to beat. Elusive Woman, uh, Ashley Fortune's gets a four kilogram claim that's got to give her a real chance and I was very impressed with Sweet and Spicy's um, win and I think that she's got some ability and I'm going to put her into my play as well. Race 8, Phillies and Mares 84, uh, 1400 meters, four cornered contest. Uh, what would be my top choice? A four common etchy. We went for her last time. She got well beaten by Rouge Allure. She got hammered but she'll, she'll improve this filly and she'll run well here. I think this is the right trip for her. Encryption, always been one of my favorites. She's as tough as they come, game as they come, got no action, but she'll go out there and do her best. So she goes into the play with two and a half kilos off her back. Soul of Wood gets straight in, um, and this wasn't a bad last run at all, at all. And then Empress Josephine's a big price from a very informed stable. She's uh, only had the one run back, look for big improvement. Race nine, 1600 classified, a number of horses come into this race. My top four would be uh, Smoke, who I fancied last time um, and didn't run too badly, but probably will improve. War Jewel, it's got very good form. Samanga rides it. I like this. Uh, category four, ended up winning well last time, but got a big penalty. Hidden Agenda looks like a big improver for Scott Kenny. And then Western Oasis got very good form as well. So... That might be the team that will fight it out in the last race. All in all, um, quite a difficult card at Turfentine. I think that there's uh, no cut and dried runners. War of Athena, maybe, but um, it's very difficult to back these horses at this stage of their careers with uh, that much confidence. Lots of horses improve. From me, James Goodman, remember, subscribe to my site and uh, go on and watch the Charles Fall interview I did last night if you haven't seen it. It was a very good start uh, to the weekend and we'll certainly follow up with it uh, next week and hopefully uh, some good will come out of it. Have a great weekend and I'll be back with you tomorrow at Grable.